the overall results for this year. So as I said, when we did this uh, four years ago, we had 17 countries on the index. And what was interesting to see is that how, the, how this has changed four years ago and now. So in 2017, we had, uh, we had uh, six out of 17 countries that had scored above 50. Uh, the index ranges from 10 to 100, which is a perfect score. Uh, and this year, only 14, uh, in this year, 14 out of 23, so many more have increased uh, and are scoring above 50. So that is quite encouraging. When we look at the uh, order of countries, we haven't seen much of a change. So South Africa has been at the top for every single year that we've uh, presented the index. Mauritius uh, consistently in the top five, Botswana as well, Namibia. Nigeria has risen quite a lot this year, so from sixth to third place. And as you can see also in terms of the scores, that the top five countries are the only ones that have a score above 60. And then you have quite a lot of countries that have a score between 40 and 60, the majority of countries. And then you have some, some that are struggling or are, are kind of starting their journey of financial market development that are below 40 and are the kind of bottom five or so countries um, that are not doing as well. But as you can see, it's, a, it's fairly structural. These things tend to change quite slowly, but we have seen some countries that have improved quite a lot. So this year, Ghana, Nigeria, Morocco, and the Seychelles were the countries that climbed the, the most. So we saw some big jumps there. And as we go to explain the methodology and what happened in individual indicators, um, you understand why that is. If we move to the next slide, um, this shows the overall methodology of how we put together the index. So when we talk about what does it mean to have developed financial markets, it's a nuanced question, it's a multifaceted question, there's a lot of things that are going on. So we've broken it down to six pillars, uh, and George and I will go through these in detail. We're looking at market debt, um, access to foreign exchange, market transparency, tax and the regulatory environment, capacity of local investors, macroeconomic opportunity, and the legality and enforceability of standard financial mar markets master agreement. So we look at all the aspects of financial markets. And as you can see, some countries can do very well in some parts of the index and not so well in others. So that's a helpful way for policymakers to see, okay, what is the low hanging fruit for me? What are the things where I need to focus my attention the most to improve? And you can see, for example, South Africa is top in, in four out of the six pillars, but is third place in pillar four and second place in pillar six. So this can be the, the areas for it to focus. Nigeria, we, we said before, is a country that has improved a lot, is third place overall in the index now, but in pillar two is last. It's last out of all the countries. So imagine if Nigeria improved just a little bit in pillar two, it could it could rival South Africa in terms of the overall ranking as well. So we think it's a helpful guide for countries to see what they should be focusing on. And if we move to the next slide, um, this is uh, uh, a screenshot of an interactive data bank that we have on the OMPF website. So when you go to download the report, you will also receive a link to go to the interactive data bank. There is a lot of data that we've gathered uh, as part of this project. And for journalists, I know you're interested in going beyond what, what the headlines and finding out what is the detail. So that's something that you can go in and click in each country to see how it's doing on the different pillars. And then in each pillar also break down to see what they're doing for different um, uh, indicators within the pillar. So it's a really helpful tool. We couldn't publish all of the data in the report itself. It's a, fairly short report, under 40 pages, so we couldn't put all the information there, but we think the interactive data bank is something that can be helpful there. 